Hello, Michael here back. I don't know. Why am I? Why do I always do that with my hands? Always like this when I do a video intro. I, I don't know what it is. Hi, welcome. Michael here from Starstreams back again with another video. Uh, Michael here back again with a... Ah. Today we're going to be ranking locations in Stanton on Star Citizen for Grey Cat Rock Gem Mining. Let's have a little look. I'll switch over screens. Here we go. I'm using um, Canvas, by the way. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm using Canva. So I've got all of the different locations I want to look at today. It's the moons plus a couple of uh, planets thrown in there for good measure as well. So we've got category A, which is like amazing. B for C is no is no. Bear with me because I've got some notes on my screen over here. Now I've sunk in literally thousands of hours of rock mining to come to these conclusions these are my own notes stored on google drive and i have been updating them and i'm going to be using my notes and some smart algorithms that rival youtube and and google and 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 whatsapp we're looking at the temperature how awkward it is do i need a suit of armor just had a night then we're going to look at the likelihood of clusters what's the average cluster size on these locations is it going to be one to two is it three is it five nine twelve fifteen what are we talking here and then we're going to look at difficulty how difficult is this location to mine will you hit a mountain how likely are you to crash and then i'm going to move it all up then we're going to put it all together and create a ranking. I'm going to start off with Yella. This is Yella. This is the kind of a, it's kind of a cool ring around it, right? Now, Yella's temperature, what is it? It's about minus 100 uh, during the day, so it's a little bit cold. It's a nice moon. Uh, how likely is Hadonite to appear on there? Pretty, probably about 8 to 10 percent. It's not that likely. It's not the number one source on that moon. Very small clusters if they do appear. The difficulty, however, is low. It's quite clear. It's easy to, to fly. However, I am going to put it very much in the no area because I don't know about Yella, you know. No one goes there unless you're, you've got, you're doing some kind of a mission, right? No one goes goes there ever let's talk about Walla. which one's Walla? is that Walla? that's Walla. so Walla. now the problem with Walla is that it's got very little atmosphere if any so you are constantly permanently spinning your ship around and trying not to hit the you know the surface now in some ways it's great because you can just floor it and do 1200 or whatever speed your ship is it is quite a fun moon however chances of hadonite appearing probably about four percent it's not great temperature about minus 35 so it's definitely breathable you can do it in an undersuit but no no is that microtech yeah microtech it's a planet the first planet on this list i uh i love microtech it's so pretty however quite difficult to mine on because you've got the really dynamic weather system that throws you about as you know when you enter new babbage it's, it blows you about left right and center there's a very low percentage of hadonite that appears on the surface probably about four percent again in terms of temperature though it's okay you can certainly run around in your undersuit i wouldn't advise it but it's it's certainly okay and it does have some interesting landmarks and different surface biomes i can't recommend it though if you're doing grey cat rock mining which is why i'm going to stick it in here with these two no magda best looking location in the whole game for me i love magda i love the blues against the orange it's a beautiful beautiful moon it's one that only recently i've started really playing i quite enjoy it it's minus 130 on the surface during the day which makes it quite nippy but you can if you've got an arrow suit on or something surviving it very very well uh 27 to 30 percent chance of hadonite on there it's becoming a good location very prone to big big clusters of like 12 to 15 i've been seeing a lot more activity of hadonite on this moon i've filled up great cat rock many times over on magda i love it high percentage clusters no difficulty at all with the weather conditions i am going to put it up here because it's just such a nice place to be like it's just so picturesque and i love it and for that it's a b and honestly try it 
try it. You might actually like it. Lyria. Let's talk about Lyria. Now, we know about Lyria. Is this Lyria? That's Lyria. We know about Lyria. It's really good for prospector mining. Not that cold, maybe about 20, 25 five minus degrees it's it's definitely livable workable it's not that dangerous visibility is good probably about four to eight percent chance of hadonite spawning there mm, i'm being very harsh here uh, no i'm gonna put no i'm gonna put no don't 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 do Lyria. not 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 for grey cat rock mining Ita or Ita, however you want to pronounce it i think it's this one here interesting moon so minus 10 roughly uh during the day makes it very very breathable very walkable can't you can do it in an undersuit no problem at all it's not that difficult condition wise it's quite clear it's it's pretty decent actually in terms of hadonite it's possibly on par with magda it's it's a decent location you know you're going to get those big clusters there potentially so i've been getting a bit of luck on on this location recently and and i know that uh, people on my live streams really dig this place at the moment so i'm going to put it under c i think what lets this down is that uh it's not as pretty as magda i don't think and you know it's it's, it's a bit of a nothing moon when you're doing mining in general unless you know unless you're a bit weird some people are i guess in star citizen you know herson's interesting but not for rock mining whatsoever there really is very little had night on this surface temperature wise it's okay it's about 20 during the day oh just just avoid there's no point i mean it's great for like box missions and stuff but for rock mining just don't waste your time don't waste your time it's not worth it so that's another no uterp which one's uterp i can't remember is it this one I mean, what can you say about UTEP, right? Now, if you're hand mining, it's actually a good location because there's actually five or six hidden caves that are really good. But apart from that, let's get rid of it. It's absolutely awful. It's minus 230 degrees on on the day. There's very little, if any, hadonite on there. There's no clusters. It's, it's just so bad that it is the worst location to rock mine, unless you're doing hand mineables. But this is not about hand mineables. This is about rock mining, and it's terrible. And in fact, it's so bad that I need to just delete and move to trash. It shouldn't even be on. It shouldn't be here. You terp should just blow up, as far as I'm concerned. Daymar. No, no, it's the greatest place. It's 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 okay. It's actually been getting progressively worse in the last few patches, in my opinion. And I love Daymar. And I and people that follow my live streams, rock mining and stuff, which uh, you need to do, by the way. And you need to also like and subscribe while you're at it. We know there's Hadonite there. We know that the temperature's pretty good. It's about 75 during the day. We know the chances of Hadonites forming is about 40%. It's not the amount. It's the size of the clusters that's causing the problems because for me personally i'm struggling to find big clusters now on daymar occasionally you'll find an eight or a six but generally it's twos and threes together and that's just not very efficient and so because of that and it's very pretty because of that i'm going to put it somewhere in the middle in fact no i am going to put it in a but i'm going to put it over here in like behind my camera somewhere or about there it kind of feels like it needs to sit maybe about there because actually the other bad thing about daymar there's so much activity there you're gonna get attacked which is why magda actually should be slightly over here somewhere should be slightly up because no one's gonna touch your magda right now until this video goes live at least <laughs> So I kind of feel like let's 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 break the boundaries here. So Magda probably going to put up this is personal preference, remember, and Daymar's going to go kind of like that. This is much better. We're breaking our boundaries now. This is interesting. No one ever does this. No one ever breaks these boundaries. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's my idea. Cleo. Let's talk about Cleo, shall we? It's another cold moon, about 40 to 50 minus during the day. Probably about a 15% chance I had a night. Now, what you just don't get the clusters there. You'll get like one or two every t every now and then. It's okay. You can use an undersuit but i wouldn't recommend it you probably do need the owl it looks okay i quite like the look of it but i am going to put it here i'm definitely going to put Ita up a bit and i'll put this there you kind of see where i'm going with that right celine or celine or celine celine what is it what is it no one knows how to say these no one knows how to say any of these moons by the way this is just zero temperature isn't it i mean it's just not too hot not too cold it's just perfect you can run around in an undersuit so that's great in terms of ease it's i mean there's there's no problems again here 
no problems at all it's, it's easy to fly around easy to spot easy everything's easy but there's just not a lot going on here is there not a lot going on here at all and for that reason i'm going to put it down here it's just a nothing location and i i don't much care for it calliope oh dear calliope my friend calliope okay so minus about minus 120 during the day you are going to need at least armor there's a bit of hadonite there but it's it, it's it's, it's not great is it it's not great easy to fly around uh, let's just put it at sea again and actually if we're gonna if we're gonna uh if we're gonna do this then really Eton needs to be a little bit further up because it it's way better than these three and let's put this slightly down and actually just for fun that's a yeah, nice little pattern like an s for star streams going on a really flat s a bit like an s that's been completely deflated which is how i felt this morning when i was trying to do this video and there was loads of drilling outside Ariel. I think you guys know where I'm going to go with Ariel. Which one is that? It's that one, isn't it? It's it's the best of both worlds between Aberdeen and Daymar. Better visibility. You have to have a suit. It's 270. It's actually hotter than Aberdeen, which I didn't realise until I started doing the research. I just hit something. Chances of Hadonite is about 50 to 60% and you get big clusters there as well and that makes it really interesting the only downside of aerial potentially is is landing spaces you get a lot of boulders you've got a lot of things in the way you have to work your way around to find where to drop your ship um so it's a bit of a challenge the atmosphere isn't always clear but you do get those great hadonite clusters and and it's amazing and therefore i've got to put it up here i have to do it it's just a shame it's a bit hot and it's hard to land apart from that perfect perfect location right which brings me around to Aberdeen those that know my channel will know what I think about Aberdeen I feel like the only people that mine on Aberdeen are those that are grinding and if you're grinding just do prospector mining honestly just do prospector mining because you're going to get more money but there's, you, people grind on Aberdeen for a reason because there's plenty of hadonite there arguably the most amounts of hadonite big clusters as well offset with the fact that it's incredibly hot you do need a, some kind of a suit an owl suit minimum but ideally a Pembroke suit and I absolutely hate the Pembroke suits as everyone knows I think they're horrible they cut off your vision they look stupid and they're expensive I just don't like Aberdeen I don't like Aberdeen and that's personal preference and the reason why is because when I'm rock mining I'm rock mining because a I want to make money but b I, I, I enjoy the visuals of the game I want to see my surroundings I love places like Magna that are absolutely in fact again boosting Magna up I love Magna because it's just so beautiful and that is the point of the game you can grind loads of money but just sometimes I think people miss this thing about like just enjoy just enjoy the game look at it look at these beautiful visuals it, that are presented with you know and and for me you lose that on Aberdeen it becomes a grindy experience and for that very reason I will put it up to A because obviously it's the best uh, is it the best it's close it's between it's between Ariel and Aberdeen in terms of like whether it's producing what, what oh, it's I can't it's so close between Ariel and Aberdeen but Ariel has the visuals Ariel has the best of both worlds and it has the same levels of clusters are oh, Hadonite producing is uh, uh, ah, I'm gonna put it lower personal preference lower I'm gonna put it about there and let's just put Magda about here let's overlap the three and create some kind of inter interesting <laughs> dynamic and then um you know Daymar okay we'll push it up a bit there in fact let's make a really nice cluster there that's how that is rock mining in a cluster that's how I feel yeah so ultimately if you're looking to grind Aberdeen if you're looking to grind but enjoy the experience, Ariel. If you're looking to enjoy the experience and make a bit of money at the same time, Daymar and Magda. And the rest can just off, basically. Yeah, I think that covers it. Thanks for watching. I hope you had a good time. Like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!